It's a common programming task to take a large string and break it down into a bunch of substrings. And Python has the split method, which splits a string into a list of substrings, which are called tokens. And all the tokens combined form the larger string if you put them all together. And a separator character indicates where to split up the string to create these tokens. There's also a join method which performs the opposite of the split method by joining the list of strings together to create the larger string. The split and join methods are sometimes used together. Let's try out some examples of this in Python and see how they work. So here in Python we have a string message that says subscribe to the YouTube channel app official. And then we print the message out to the screen. And we get this right here. And we can we can split this up. Let's show you how to do that. Let's just create a variable called tokens and say message.split. It's that easy. And we can print out all the tokens as well. Print tokens and see what happens. And you can see that it kind of just chopped it all up, put it in an array, and here's every single separate word split up and comma separated. If we happen to have a bunch of like hyphens randomly in the middle of this string, we could split it up by the hyphen instead of by the space, which is the default character. Now check this out. Everywhere there was a hyphen, it split it up. You could split up a string by any character that you want. I'm gonna undo all this. And let's just say we had an exclamation mark after subscribe. We could do a split on the exclamation mark and we should have two tokens. Subscribe and to the YouTube channel app official. And notice that it doesn't include the character that you're using to split this string up within the token. So you don't see that exclamation mark after the subscribe. Just like when we use the default behavior, which split it up by the blank spaces, it didn't include the spaces as well. It's just all the words and the blank spaces just lets the program know that this is the delimiter. Let's split it up with this blank space. So now that we've split up the string, let's put it back together. Let's create a sentence, set it to an empty string. So this is going to be our placeholder to store the string. And we can use the join method, but before we do that, let me show you how to do it using just regular string concatenation. For each str in the list of tokens, we'll set sentence plus equals to that str. And let's just print out sentence and see if that worked. And all right, it did kind of work, but there's no blank spaces in between. So first, let's get rid of this exclamation mark. We don't need that anymore. Run the program again. Okay, so there's the full string without any blank spaces. So to get those back in there, we could just simply say sentence plus equals blank space, and then add the string to it. And wait, that fixed it kind of, but it put one in the beginning. So let's move that to the end, or actually just right here, it doesn't really matter. And there we go, that looks a little bit normal. So that's a little complex to glue together a bunch of tokens and create a larger string. So it's a lot easier to just use the join method. So to do that, let's say sentence is going to be equal to join and Join is a string method, so we have to have a string calling it. So if you don't have a string and you need to call that join method, just create an empty string, then call join, then pass in the tokens. And then we'll print that out. And here we go again. Same problem with the missing space. So to fix it, change the empty string to a blank space. Run the program again, and here we go. We've got our original string back and displaying on our console. So that's it for the split and join method. I'm sure you'll find them very useful and you'll probably end up needing to use them someday. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel at Fischl if you haven't already. Thanks again.